Okay guys, I am thrilled. I have waited for this day for about a year, but I would say more so like uh, more than two decades because I am dressed in my best 90s gear because I'm on my way to the Saved by the Bell themed pop-up restaurant. It's called Saved by the Max here in West Hollywood and I'm going in for the press preview and I am so thrilled. I'm so excited. <laughs> if you want to show, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm outside and obviously this is the best part of the whole restaurant. Look at that. Oh, poppy then, poppy now. Okay, I'm about to go in, guys. Let's see if this truly looks like the Max, everybody. Here. Uh, Thank you so much. So, uh, where's class at? Class is right through this hall. Oh my god, this actually does look a lot like Bayside High. Actually, it is Bayside High. Let's go inside and see what's going on. Whoa, and of course, the best show in the entire world is playing on all three screens up there. I'm not even going to tell you what it is, because you know the answer to that question. around the quarters of the max I know my tongue is getting tight this is crazy because I am such a big fan of the show that I actually had some of these comic books when I was younger and I had that book I haven't had the new comic book but I want to get that oh my gosh this is a little freaky I I guess it's from that episode which I honestly don't remember right now let's see what we got over here <gasps> lunchbox and what is this like a script oh yeah oh my gosh of course the board game which I just got a new version of and then there's these other toys which I've been meaning to get and the, oh, the trading cards, the trading cards, of course I have the trading cards and you know I got the People Magazine reunion issue as well as the soundtrack which is a little bit more beat up at my apartment right now. We've got Magix's Magical Cookbook which I think is just... It's just fake. Oh, 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 there's a cake in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, the dolls. Oh my gosh, my mom put these up in a closet in our house and the boxes all got kind of smushed. I'm surprised they found these dolls. This is pretty cool. I wonder how much they're worth now. Okay, let's keep on going around here. the shoes okay. and go up to show this man's outfit. Of course it has to be eccentric. How are you, Ed? I'm great. I met Alonzo and I played Max, the owner of the diner on the original Saved by the Bell. And I guess that's why you're here. Of course. So, okay. Um, you brought up a good point because the restaurant is named after your character. Yes, it is. But then I never saw you after the first season. What happened there? I did about a season and a half. Okay. And uh, I always felt as an actor that I wanted to do more on the show. So I had the opportunity to go to another show where I could have a little more airtime. Ah. But then I made a promise that I would come back and do guest episodes um, as Max because the Max was going to continue. But in the long haul of it all, I wish that I had done more Saved by the Bell episodes. I think that would have been more fun. None of us ever realized that it was going to be the pop culture show that it is today. I mean, we were just all unknown actors and actresses that just had a good time. And we were thrilled to have a job. And who knew that it was going to turn into, you know, years later that there's now a pop-up restaurant. Right. Uh, and uh, still there's some merchandise and um, comic books that are still for sale. Yes! It's just amazing. So I'm so happy to have been been part of a couple of seasons. Yeah. Uh, this is a real Rubik's Cube. It's just a tiny one. It was a keychain. I popped the keychain part off. Uh -huh. To solve it, you twist it okay. and turn it just like a real Rubik's Cube. But I'm never very good at solving the cube like that. Mm. So today I'm going to solve it in my mouth. Uh-oh. No. 
Oh. I know we're at a restaurant, but darn it, I didn't. Uh oh, there's a mirror. Okay. <laughs> No. Oh. How in the world are you doing this? Oh. No. You moved it with your teeth and your tongue. This is incredible. So, that's called sleight of mouth. Okay. You'll join us here at Saved by the Max. I met Alonzo. When you wake up in the morning. <laughs> yes, I finally got my burger, my fries over here. I hope they're fat for you guys. Um, I'm just gonna indulge here at Save by the Max. So keep on following me, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, folks. And if I didn't say it right, you know exactly what you need to do, alright? I'll see you next time. Cool.